All right, so we're getting ready to take off on day two. We just got some gas at uh, Willard, which is only about five miles from Brigham City where we stayed the night. I was worried about making it up to the hill to my next stop at Evanston, Wyoming, and I looked it up. It says, well, it's only about 60 miles. Well, I could have made it there without having to get gas, but we're going to roll from here. Well, I didn't check my gas mileage. Let me check that. I'll get right back to you onto that, see what my gas mileage says that I've got. Uh, we ran the generator last night for about, probably about an hour and a half to two hours with the air conditioner on. Setting in the heat, slept overnight, slept okay, didn't have to... Uh, had one window open. Oh, that's right. I got to go back and close that window. Remember that. Didn't run my checklist. I had my checklist about checking the windows and everything so we can get going. I'm going to go do that. We're going to get on the road. All right, so uh, 7.2 miles per gallon. It's too bad it's still smoky. All right, time to do a quick update. I pulled off uh, at Evanston, Evanston, Wyoming to the Flying J. And I gotta tell you, the Flying J was a major disappointment. No place at all uh, for an RV. They got a lot of truck parking. They got reserve signs everywhere for truck parking. And they have automobiles. And the automobile lot is really steep. It's twisty and you really can't move maneuver around in a motorhome at all if you got an rv and i've got a 32 footer i would suggest skipping the flying j that's in evanston evanston man it was kind of a waste all right later all right we are out here in the middle of nowhere wyoming at little america got an ice cream cone so we're gonna have an ice cream cone how's your ice cream cone yeah. All right, then we're going to play on the playground back here. You can check out the uh, the playground back here. We're going to play there for a little bit, and we'll get back on the road. So I'm in the middle of Wyoming, and I'm driving down the road, and I'm right at uh, Flaming Gorge, where the Flaming Gorge Dam is. In the last 20 miles, gas dropped from $3.99 a gallon to $3.59 a gallon here at Flaming Gorge. That's a big difference for 20 miles. That's almost worth the drive. So I don't need I don't need fuel right now. So, but hopefully it gets cheaper as I get out here. So update on the water situation. You see we got some water drips right here. We can follow this water trail right up here where it's coming right up here. Right along this edge right here. And you can see that there's some water right there. And if we trace that back, we can see that there are all these water lines right here and right here there is water right here now this is the vent the outside vent for the propane for the refrigerator so it looks like that water is probably coming from the refrigerator there is a line that runs up to an ice maker inside the refrigerator i'll pull this panel off we'll take a look inside there and see if we can follow that leak a little bit further. All right, so next stop to find my water leak. I looked inside here and this tray is all full of water down here. And I wiggled a couple things and lo and behold, if you look right here. Problem uh, found, now we just gotta solve it. I turned the pump off. I don't know if it's going down any or not or where that pressure is coming from. That water running off of there is just absolutely nuts. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. This just got this little compression fitting on it. You push in on this and that hose pops right out. You can see the cut in the hose right there. I'm just going to cut this hose off below this. Then I'm going to run it back up into that from here. I've got enough hose that I can run that up into there. I'll hook that up and that should take care of that leak everything is still hooked up and we'll be in good shape we're in rawlings wyoming about 300 miles from where we last were uh, got eight miles to the gallon now i don't know if i had a tailwind or whatever because i was going 75. the only thing is is i drive by the tachometer and not the speedometer. So I tried to keep the tachometer about 2,500 RPMs. Keeps trying to shift up and jump up to about 3,200 RPMs and stay there. And the engine's revving, so I back it off a little bit. <laughs> 
All right, so uh, we just went in. We're stopping at another Walmart for the evening. We're going to bake up some pizzas. We're going to put together a Lego building and spend the night here. And then we'll uh, see you tomorrow morning unless something comes up tonight. See you guys.